Yeah, hello again, it's Scott here. Yeah, look, there's a couple of reasons why I decided to um, to do this uh, YouTube uh, channel thing. Um, one thing I've noticed over my uh, many years is that uh, you know men in particular have been losing a lot of um, you know basic skills to maintain things. Um, what was very common practice, uh, you know, with our forefathers. Um, where they could do just about anything. Um, I think this, you know, consumer-driven society has, um, uh, you know, gradually taken those skills away from men, and uh, um, they end up paying for things that are very easily done themselves. Now, if you live in a, uh, you know, a, a democratic, developed country. Um, we tend to have a, uh, a very progressive uh, tax system. Our labour rates are quite high. So it means that if you're paying for something uh, that you could easily do yourself, so if you're paying for something that has labour included, it means that it's very expensive. You know, if you have high income tax rates and high wage rates, it means that anything that has labour, and just about everything has labour and it flows through the whole economy, um, becomes very expensive and because we're taxed progressively um, and most developed countries have a top tax rate uh, you know in the 40 50 percent I mean here in Australia it's 49 percent so the more money you earn the more incentive you've got I think um, to do things yourself because uh, if you're being taxed 49 cents in the dollar for every additional dollar that you earn, if you spend um, $500 that you didn't need to spend because you could do it yourself, I mean that's tax-free income for you. You'd have to earn another $1,000 to get $500 to be back where you started. So it's a bit about wealth creation. Um, that you know, I, I started on a, uh, a course of uh, becoming financially independent. Um, after I graduated with my engineering degree and to me it was a means to an end. I wanted to uh, get to a point in my life, um, hopefully by around mid-50s where, where I would be financially independent and I could do my own thing. So uh, I didn't have to be harnessed to that plough anymore. Um, and to, for me it's worked very, very well because I have saved so much money, countless things thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars over the years by doing things myself as tax-free money. Um, I couldn't see the point in paying, for example, paying uh, a lot of money to do, say, an MBA to maybe earn another, I don't know, 20, 30, dollars $40,000 a year and have half of it taken away in tax. I couldn't see the point in that. To me, it didn't make sense. It was far better for me to learn how to, say, maintain my motor vehicles, maintain my motorcycles, um, maintain my home, do it all myself, and that was far more tax effective. Um, you know, governments can't have it both ways. If they're going to slug, slug us that much money, 49 cents, you know, nearly half of any extra dollar you earn, well then, there are consequences. Because uh, people who think it through and are thinking about wealth creation will you know, the, the light will come on and they'll realise that they're better off to invest a little bit of money in some tools and equipment and take control and do it yourself. Um, it's worked for me. Um, you know, in, in, in my cohort, uh, a lot of people thought I was crazy. Um, uh, you know, I can remember, I can remember uh, people criticising me because I mowed my own lawns, for God's sake. And there's, there was two reasons I made my own lawns. One was because it was uh, a good um, a good aerobic workout, so it was uh, a fitness workout, and at the same time I was saving the um, you know forty or fifty dollar cost each, which would be each week in summer, um, and that's fifty dollars of after tax income. Uh, I was obviously saving the cost of, of that. Um, so believe me, if you take control and do these things yourself over you know three or four decades of work 
you come out way in front. You're way ahead of your peers. Now, I think what stops a lot of people is they're a bit timid or a bit scared, you know, of, of um, delving behind the plastic covers on a modern car. Um, I think the other thing that stops people is status. Uh, status is probably one of the greatest wealth killers of all time. If you're going to get wrapped up in the status of it all and think, oh, well, I'm not going to get my hands dirty because that's, uh, you know, that's a lower class thing to do, well, that's going to cost you a lot of money. Um, I've never shied away from that. I don't care. I was about making money. I was about creating wealth. And uh, I've got the runs on the board. I've done it. And a lot of it was because I took control. You know, I learned how to do things myself. Um, going back to the sort of 70s uh, and 80s, I used to buy books. Um, you know, on how to rebuild engines and, and all that sort of thing. Now we've got this wonderful thing called the internet and YouTube. And, and people, you know, teaching us how to do things. So, uh, you know, there's, there's not a lot of excuse, really. It's, it's not difficult to get the information. And also remember, our consumer society has convinced the middle classes uh, that wealth is spending your money on high depreciating status symbols. Um, that's not how the wealthy behave. The wealthy live within their means. They invest any surplus money into income producing assets. And eventually those income producing assets get to a point where they start um, generating an income enough to, uh, you know, to sustain life. So, um, you know, and the other thing, um, again, the, the consumer society we live in uh, has convinced us that happiness comes from what you own, uh, which is just not true. Uh, happiness comes from what you do. Uh, and in particular for men, um, you know, I've read many uh, psychology books and it's been proven time and time again. Men are at the happiest uh, creating, building, fixing, doing things with their own hands and their own ingenuity and their own brain. Uh, they're also their happiest uh, taking on some sort of a, you know, physical and mental challenge, um, you know, such as a climbing a mountain or, or doing a trek from A to B or swimming from A to B or, or whatever it is. Uh, you know, in my case, it's it's uh, trying to be one of the best veteran, um, you know, motorcycle riders. Uh, you know, it, it's it's something that is, is challenging, has an element of risk that you must manage. That's what makes men happy. Um, not having the latest um, AMG Mercedes or whatever that, that's a fleeting moment. Uh, doesn't last very long. So I find with me, I get a hell of a lot of satisfaction from being able to do things myself. You know, from taking control, basically opting out of the system of handing over all my hard earned money, uh, after tax money, for a 16 year old apprentice to do a simple oil change on my motor car. We, we pay four or five hundred dollars to get something like that done here. You know, to have to have your oil drained out and a new filter put in and to check that the doors open and the windscreen reservoir is filled. I mean, for God's sake, that, that, that's what you're paying for. Um, you're farther off just to do it yourself and pocket the cash. It's tax-free income. So that that's the whole idea. Um, the main idea with my channel, I mean, the, the other the other part of it is a, is a very tragic reason, and that, that was um, uh, that, you know, I lost my 24-year-old son five and a half years ago on Christmas Day 2009. Um, I used to work with him and pass on this knowledge to him. Now I don't have um, anyone to do that, uh, you know, to pass that knowledge on to. Uh, so I thought, well, you know, I've got 40 years of um, do-it-yourself experience. Uh, you know, I'm a qualified engineer. I'm capable of, of thinking and researching and gathering information. Uh, so I thought, well, uh, since my son's not around, I'll just put put what I know, put as much as I can out of the public domain and uh, maybe it'll help other people. So you'll find there's lots of videos on doing various things on your motorcycle and on your cars in particular. Uh, there's a bit about um, you know, some, some home projects I've done as well. So that's, that's the background and uh, you know, I, hope, I hope you find uh, the information on the channel uh, very useful to you. And, uh, I hope it allows you to build some wealth so that one day you can unharness yourself from the plough.
So thanks very much.